All right, let's carry on with the second part, which is this one. So what I have, we're going to start with the third string, fret number two, okay? And then I have fifth string open and the second string, fret number one. Okay, so make sure they use exactly the same plucking finger I use. And then I will play them. Okay. Uh, which is the fifth string fret number two and the second string fret number four. Um, I really like to use, you know, second and fourth finger. This is much more of a classical guitar kind of approach, um, where you know usually if you play acoustics, you always have you always have that. Um, but that's a really clever fingering because after that we're gonna have the C major, and so we're gonna keep third and first finger free. Uh, for the next chord. And so you want to play the 5th string fret 2 with the 2nd finger and the 2nd string fret 3 with the 4th finger. And then you obviously finish um, with the C major chord. And it's the 5th string fret number 3 and the 2nd string fret number 1. I actually pluck also the 3rd open and the 2nd open, right? So it's like thumb, index, middle and ring. Boom. Okay. So when I put together the first part is And then I'll carry on with the melody. So after I play the C, I will have the first string fret number one and the first open. Okay. You really want to try to hold the bass note down. It's extremely important um, to keep the bass note even though it's a little bit more stretchy, but you don't want to lose that, okay? And then I'll move on to the G major chord. That's another beautiful chord. And what is that? Um, I have the sixth string fret number three and the second string fret number three. I'm using second and third finger and I pluck the sixth, the fourth, the third and the second string simultaneously. Right. Sometimes I like to do a little bit of rolling, so I'm quickly, just like if I'm strumming, but I'm actually doing with the fingers, some index middle ring really quickly. And then after that I will have the second open, and the sixth string fret 3 is already there, with the third open. Alright, so... Notice that when I play the second open string, I use the middle finger and then thumb and index. So the first bunch of chords. And then I move on to the next part. Uh, this is an F major chord based, it's a beautiful chord, okay? And I start with the third string fret number two and the second open. Okay, one more time. Third string fret two, second open. And I will play um, the second string fret one and the fourth string fret three. Simultaneously with thumb and middle. Okay, so. Third string fret two, twice. And as you can see, I'm still holding the chord down. So I want to try to keep, you know, the whole thing ringing out. So then the third string fret two. And then I have this melody, which is the third string fret number one, and then fret number two. 6th and 2nd open, 3rd string fret 1, and 
and the fourth string fret two. One more time slowly. Third string fret one, two, sixth and second open. Third string fret one, fourth string fret two. When I put together the whole thing, I'm gonna do it really slowly, okay? So it sounds like that. Now the good thing is that the second time I play that is pretty much the same. Uh, the first part is pretty much the same, so we're gonna keep that. Same, 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 same. Now the difference is on the F. I have exactly the same chord, but it's rhythmically different. So I'm gonna have the fourth, um, um, so I'm start from here. Third string fret two, second open. And then I have the fourth string fret three and the second string fret number one. And I will have that simultaneously, then second open, third string fret number two. So the phrase is a little bit different, so. Third string fret two, and then I will move on to them, which is the fourth string fret two and the third string fret one simultaneously. Then the fourth string fret four. I used a little finger, so it's a little bit of a stretchy position. And back to the third string fret one. All right, so. And then I'll finish with this beautiful arpeggio, which is an A minor arpeggio. I will put down the A minor chord like that, and I will start with the fifth string and third string simultaneously, and then the fourth string. All right, so fifth and third together, then the fourth, second, third, first, second. How beautiful it is that you don't have to move the left hand position but because we're using finger style you can create these beautiful arpeggios uh, almost effortless. So. And then I finish with open, open fifth and third string fret five, first string fret five. Okay. Thumb, index, ring. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, let me just show you how to play this part, okay? So hopefully you've been okay. Uh, learning the first part of this song and you like it, okay? Now, today I'm going to show you that. with the C major chord okay and there's a really nice C major chord because we have the fifth string fret number three the third open the uh, second string fret number one and the first string fret number three so the voicing is different you have a voicing on the first string fret three which it kind of make this chord uh, a little bit more you know open and uh, bright okay so 
Now, once you play this chord, um, you know, and you plug the string simultaneously, the fifth, the third, the second, and the first, you want to play uh, the first string one more time, okay? So, sometimes that what I'll do, what I like to do when I play a chord like that, I like to quickly roll my fingers, so rather than plug simultaneously, I will go like thumb, index, middle and ring really really quickly. So make sure that you try this approach, the rolling approach. And uh, so after that I'm gonna play the fourth string fret number two and the first string fret number three simultaneously. And then the first string fret number one and the first open. Okay so Make sure that you hold the bass note down always, okay? Always holding it down so that it ring out. So and then I move on to the G major chord. Now again here with this G, I really like to roll, quick re-roll from thumb to ring. Now what how am I play that? I have the sixth string for number three and the second string for number three and I'm plucking sixth, fourth, third, second. I'm quickly rolling and then I have the second open string still holding the bass down so and I finish with the third open string and the fifth string for number two. When I put together the first part, and then I will have. Now uh, we have the third string fret number two and the second open string. And I finish with an F major chord, which is the fourth string fret three and the second string fret number one. Pluck that simultaneously, thumb and middle. And then I will add the third string fret number two, twice, okay? You really wanna hold the whole thing down, so. When I finish with the last note, I still have the whole chord ringing, so. And then I will have the third string for number one, and then for number two. Okay. And I finish with an E major chord. So, sixth and second simultaneously. Third string fret one, fourth string fret two. Put together the whole thing. Now what happened after that? We'll have exactly the same thing. Uh, but I will pause on this F. So what am I playing on the F? Um, I will have the fourth and the second string, so fourth string fret number three and the second string fret number one and I will have so I'll keep the melody on this on the top strings I want to hold down the bass I plug the fourth and second string simultaneously then the second open and then the third open okay so I'll do I'll pluck that simultaneously then the second open third open and then only the second string fret one second open and third open again all right so it's the same phrase without the bass and then I will repeat that again okay so 
so and then I will do exactly the same phrase but this time with the G on the bass so I have the sixth string for number three with the second string for number one simultaneously second open third open then I hold the bass down, still ringing out. I'm not plucking it again. And I have again the second string fret one, second open, third open. So, again the bass. Okay, so you wanna repeat that twice. Be careful with the bass, now I was playing it wrong. You want to play the bass just uh, one time at the beginning. So, and then you finish with that. It's an A minor chord. You want to start by plucking the fifth and the third string simultaneously, then the fourth, second. Third, first, second. You don't really want to move the chord, okay? It's just about the right hand. So, fifth and third, fourth, second, third, first, second. Then I have the first string fret number five and second string fret five. I use a little bar chord here and I have first and second. And then I have first string fret number eight and then fret number 10, first and second, okay? So, so far we have. And then we have 12 and 13. So 12 on the first string and 13 on the second, okay? So five, five, eight, 10, 12, 13, and we finish with fret 17, simultaneously with the fifth open string. It's a beautiful A minor arpeggio. The main thing is that you let the fifth string ring out while you're playing the arpeggio. And good luck with that.